Hi WLS family. Um, it's been a little while since I have posted a video um, as any of one can't even speak. Anyone uh, who has been on my channel knows I am the brand new mom of triplet baby boys. They are three months old today actual, which means they were born three months ago. Um, but in the world of premature births, um, their adjusted age, as we say, is a month and a half. So technically, developmentally, they're supposed to be about a month and a half old. However, um, mine seem to be functioning at a near three-month level anyway. So that's where we're at. Um, I am starting a second channel. I have not gotten to actually getting it all set up yet. That is going to be more about my life with my boys and everything like that. This channel will continue to focus on myself with the exception of this little post here because I have a couple of reasons for this. Um, I did re-up, I did get into a gem membership last month. My husband and I were doing really great. Um, I was going three, four times a week, sometimes five, because not only was it me being more active, it gave me a boost in energy, made me feel better about myself. All of those beautiful things that happen when you get into a good workout routine were happening. Um, and then the smoke sucked in. Um, Spokane got saturated in smoke for about a week. And I just, even inside of closed up places, you could smell it, you could feel it on your lungs, and I just didn't go. And then, of course, didn't pick it back up. Um, so my goals right now are to get back into the gym and all of those kinds of things. Uh, I don't know what my weight is. I haven't stepped on my own scale. I have done any of that. I haven't had a checkup with it. I don't have another checkup with the doctor for another few months. And um, that's just, uh, I guess, low on my radar. It's not my priority right now. I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm putting healthy things in my house. There's lots of yogurts around. Um, one of my new go-to snack things is... Uh, Jiffy peanut butter bites. Have you seen these? They're uh, these little peanut butter balls. There's peanut butter on peanut butter, peanut butter and granola, and peanut butter and pretzel. Um, good protein snack. Filling doesn't, um, not a lot of effort. You know, grab, snap, go. Um, so trying to take care of myself and take care of my family at the same time. That's a bit of a balancing act, of course. Um, so that's where I'm at now. My last video that I posted had me down a little bit. I was feeling really low. Um, I would still attest that I still feel a little bit low, um, but I look at everything in as positive a manner as I can possibly look at because my life is so full. My life is so beautifully full. Um, there's a lot of things that I didn't get to do this year that I like to do. Sorry, I'm really fidgety. Um, my running and all that kind of stuff, the fun runs, da 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 da. The boys were too young to take out in the latter uh, latter summer, in the latter spring, early summer. I was still pregnant, um, so there's a lot of that stuff that I have so much fun with that made my life feel really full before that I didn't get to do. But my life is very full in other ways, um, and my husband and I have every intention of continuing on and go getting back to our fun runs and all that kind of stuff when the boys are big enough. Um, next year, when the season starts and everything, we'll be able to put them in regular jogging strollers. It'll be kind of a cool, fun thing. Um, so that's where I'm at. My purpose for this video today is not only to update you and say, hey, I'm still here, I'm still functioning, I'm going strong, I'm trying to remember to take care of myself as much as I take care of my family, and, you know, that's a struggle. Um, when I first started this YouTube page and everything like that, and I was looking at doing my surgery, I was single. Uh, I was living with my cousin, but living my, you know, living my own life. I worked, and I did my surgery, and I focused on me, and that's all that there was. Um, I'm a wife now. I'm a mom now. I'm, you know, I'm a homemaker now. And I'm... And it's very kind of odd, this thing that happens when you become a homemaker rather than a worker is that all of a sudden you forget to do stuff that's for you. Um, you wake up every day and you feed and diaper those babies and you clean floors and you do dishes and you rake the yard and you do all those things that need to be done around the house because you're at home 
and then you know and then at the end of the day you put everybody down to bed and you go to bed yourself and do it all over again the next day and you've never done anything for yourself the whole day um so that's becoming a thing that i'm trying to remember that my family is super important i love them all very much um but uh i also there's also me there's me the wife me the mom but me the person and um, for those of you that are trying to go through this process and trying to do all those things, you, it's, it's really good to remember that something that's good for you is good for your family. And if it makes you healthy, it makes them healthy. And if it makes you happy, it makes them happier because you're happy. Um, so that's my little spiel on that for today. My other purpose for this video. My husband and I don't typically ask for a leg up. We don't usually, we're not those, um, woe is me, we need help, somebody give us something kind of people. However, we are kind of stuck right now. Uh, my biggest vehicle is a F-350 pickup truck that holds six people, but I have a family of seven. Um, we never, we go anywhere as a family, we have two, two vehicles. My boys are our car seated in the back seat one right after another boom 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 which also means that if anything happens with them that truck has to stop we have to pull over and open the back in order to get at them because there's no crawling into the back there's no seat to sit in once you get back there in order to tend to the boys without stopping the truck there's nothing we can do except for get pulled over and then check on the boys and for someone who's a first-time mom of premature babies not being able to get back there and see what's happening when one of them is crying or coughing or whatever is really, really nerve-wracking. And um, having to take separate vehicles everywhere every time all seven of us need to be somewhere is frustrating. Um, right now, we haven't taken any trips over to my dad's place and anything like that, but in order to do that, we'd have to rent a vehicle because not only do we not have something that won't hold all seven of us, we don't have anything that will hold all seven of us plus, plus dog, plus um, strollers, plus uh, bags, plus whatever. Um, we're kind of stuck here. We can't take little trips or anything like that, and we can't get anywhere as a family. Um, so I know that everyone out there has their own woes and everything like that, and I don't expect anything from everybody or anything like that, but if you could share the link below somewhere, um, just to put our names out there, we're not looking for a big hound out, we're just looking for a leg up so that we can put a down payment on a Nissan NV and get something that seats, um, 12. Uh, probably going to have it set up to seat nine or nine most of the time but if we have 12 seats that means that I can um, people can ride with us and I can help uh, my older kids with sporting events people can ride with us um, there's still room there's still places for people to sit along with my family um, I can get my dad in the vehicle with us uh, when we're all together and it's just um, would be really really helpful um, we can make payments on the vehicle, but we don't have the down in order to make the payments manageable and to get us off the lot with what we need. Um, we're not looking to buy one brand new. We're not looking to design one. We're not going that far. Um, if what we can do is a used one, we do a used one. You know, it's, it's not one of those things where like, we want a brand new vehicle. No, we just need a vehicle that works for us. Um, so if you have the ability to donate, bless you. Thank you so much. Um, if you don't, if you could just share, um, our story and our page, we would really appreciate that. Um, so that's my, that's my little, please help, uh, spiel. Um, but you guys, if you've been through my page, you know me. I, I, I love all of you and I support all of you and I hope everyone just is rocking their journey and rocking their lives and rocking their family, whatever that may be. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I am, oh my God, next month is October. So since next month is October, I am 15, 16, 17, almost three years out from my sleeve. 
Um, I had initial, those of you who don't remember my numbers, I had an initial weight loss of 120 pounds. I was 331 pounds at the beginning of my journey. I lost 120 pounds. I hovered within about 10 or 15 pounds of there for most of my journey up until my pregnancy. Um, my last weight was 250. Um, my guess is I probably went up from there. Uh, I, like I said, I'm trying to be healthy and make good choices and things like that, but sometimes fast is what I, what I'm left with. And, uh, I have a severe transfer coffee addiction. Um, so there is a lot of dairy in my life. Um, anyway, I love you all and thank you for everything. Thank you for support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for being a part of my digital life and I hope everyone is fantastic. Have wonderful days.